Well, hello there, collective. Happy Sunday, fun day. This is Stephanie in the Soul Sister Monarch Channel. So, I'm just going to pull out some collective readings. I mixed a bunch of cards and went through and thought, let's have some fun and see what we come up with, okay? So, we'll see. Because I just pulled out cards. I did a combination. So this is our first one here. Well, let's see. What do we got? Well, we got relationship dynamics. We got the warrior energy. Ooh, baby. Vessel energy. So this means you're a vessel for spirit. You connect as a vessel to universal energy. If you have, if you don't, you the, you're gonna learn this. You will. You'll definitely probably learn Reiki, whoever you are, because um, you are supposed to be the vessel to connect into that universal healing energy to help other people heal themselves. Okay, this is awesome energy. Isis, the goddess of magic. Okay, this is your sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Those of you that don't respect your sexual energy, I'm just saying, you're going to take on a lot of people's karma, a lot of people's bad juju you don't want. Do you really want somebody parking their car in 8,000 garages beside yours? I mean, think about it. And look at it the other way. Do you really want to be with somebody that they let 8,000 cars park in their garage? I mean, I know I wouldn't. That's disgusting to me. But you, you, yes, you, whoever I'm talking to, we'll find out here. We got some cards, other cards in here. Zod I pulled out some Zodiac ones for each one. You respect your sexual energy. You know how important that is. This is where all your creativity comes from. Major manifestations. You respect this. So when people try to harm or hurt you with other things that they play with, which you know what I'm talking about, we don't need to get into this, it doesn't affect you. Nope. Because you got a clear vessel. Look where you're headed. Oh, yeah. The Golden Palace. That's awesome. Okay, number 23. Very, 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 very powerful number. And that's funny because that uh, number is directly related to King Tut. And then you got Isis there. That's amazing. So, number two and three. So, two is about your foundations, okay? Um, and it's about balance. Threes are about partnerships. This is you, whoever you are, you're a twin flame. Yeah, if you don't know it, you do now. This you this could either be you starting to step into this or you already knew this and you're, you know. Um, so it could be some of you out there, you are already know all about this. And some of you, you have no idea. Okay, but anyways, point being, you've created lots of balance in your life. And you, so you have a twin flame mission. So you have a double mission, whoever I'm tapping into, I can already tell. So you have your mission and then you and your twin flame have a mission. And then you have a mission with the universe. Okay. So you're partnering up and you're using all those different places. So you're partnering up with yourself. You're partnering up with your twin flame. If you and your twin flame are not in union, you two are manifesting together from afar. You definitely work together in the 5D if it hasn't come down to the three, okay? Um, and you, so anyways, that's the partnerships, the twin flame, your twin, and, and the universe, okay? Number 23 is also about being unique, adventurous, um, that's having that zest for life, being really eager to experience and learn new things, um, and that the have you've got the pos the excuse me the attitude that everything's possible, um change is excitement to you change is excitement because you know without change there's no growth okay so you welcome change. You know you know how to be happy when there is no happiness. You know how to create fun when there is no fun. I just heard. Yeah, I love this. Okay. You know life's an adventure. 
okay? And you are one of these people that want to live it to the fullest, okay? So, there we dare, definitely have air sign energy here. So, this reading could be for Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right. This angel is here to tell you that you need to be a little bit more tender, whoever you are, okay? So, you could be heavily working in your masculine energy right now, and that's okay. That's okay. Because um, we, you know you're balancing stuff out over here, okay? You're balancing things out. Um, but you might, so if you're, whoever you are, that you're feminine here, which I know we do have a feminine because we've got Isis energy, okay? But we still have, we also have King Tut energy. So this is a masculine and a feminine reading, okay? So this is for both of you guys out there. Air sign, definitely energy right now, okay? Oh, tower, baby. Woo! The bell's gone right now. I have to get it back. I had major uh, cleaning going on. So, um... Hmm. Somebody's going to need faith. Somebody's going to need to be brave. Whoa. And somebody's been doing shadow work. Yeah. Refine your attention. Ah, somebody has figured out how to work with their own magic. I just put a post up on Facebook about uh, ma the, about magic being in your veins. Wow. You need to go look. I put it on my story. It's on my story, I think, on Facebook. I may have posted it on my Instagram. I, I post everything different everywhere. Sometimes I repeat a few things if it's that important. But I always, I have, I have the different platforms I have. Um. I try to always make it different for you guys. So you really should go check out my Instagram, Soul Sister V. Beautiful stuff I put there. Or right, go look at my Facebook, Stephanie Vigas. V I G O S. I also have Soul Sister Enterprise, but I'm going to shut that one down because it's just I there's too many for me to take care of all the time. So I'm going to get rid of that one and just keep my regular one. But anyways, I post different stuff there. You got to, my stories are always different on both Instagram and Facebook. And on both those places, I put all kinds of really good stuff. I have been using our community tab, guys. So I'm putting stuff there daily to help you guys out. Please go over there and check that out. There's music that gets channeled to me. Um, and I, it's always stuff I love because I listen to it first. And if I don't like it, I'm not going to put it up. Some of it I've never heard because it's, I, it's, a message for me or a message for you guys, whatever. Um, but I post, I post it all over there because music helps me. It really helps me heal. So I would just try to share that with you guys. Um, I put different articles of, I'm very into what's going on around the world. If you know me, I've always been that way. Um, I've been deeply a whistleblower type of person because of what's happening with humanity. So anyway, I put a lot of stuff there with that. Um, and I just put up posts that are really cool and fun and to see. I share other channels that have great stuff. And um, I know some of these stories could have to do with you guys. And so if I watch it and I'm guided to, um, then I will share it for you guys as well. Okay. So anyways, you're tapping into your magic, your own magic. Okay. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing thing for somebody here. Okay. Climate of compassion. If we could generate a climate of compassion, perhaps we would recognize that everyone becomes the person they are because of the sum of their experiences so far. So maybe then we wouldn't judge others so harshly. So, see where this tenderness is coming in? Air sign? <laughs> and water sign? Because I'll tell you what, air signs can be very cold, straight to the point, um, sometimes a um, abrasive <laughs> definitely can be cold um they could be very sharp with their words water signs they get really deep and down there they can really hurt you man especially if you hurt a water sign um and they will go deep to come back to hurt you so this is saying and we have a tower energy here too so spirit the angels are helping you but they're asking you to please keep your temper in control you um take this the golden palace here, the number 23, you build that number up. That's five. That's about changes. But these are positive changes because this is the, I don't care 
what ends up here, this is going to be the ultimate outcome for whoever I'm talking to. Okay? Some of you, you had a tower come, and it blew your whole life apart. Okay? I heard somebody's whole existence was just blown to shreds. Yeah, look, we got completion, cycle closed out. See that? This is snake energy. Transformation. End of story. Okay? The sustainer. So, this tells me there was people that didn't believe in you. Whoever this is. There was people going against you. But, definitely double confirmation on a feminine energy here. Okay? But I do know we also have a masculine but this is, you stood tall. You stood in your power. You stood in your truth. You didn't care. You did not care what other people thought. You're like, whatever. You don't want to believe me? You don't want to have faith in me? Well, then I'll have faith and I'll believe in myself. And we'll see who comes, who's on the, the bottom of this dog pile, right? But you sit on your throne. You watch them all fight amongst each other. You're like, whatever. Look at you fools. I can feel the full energy here. Maybe there's a Virgo involved that's trying to take somebody down or an Aries. Because I can, I can just, I could feel both those energies when I said the fool. Okay. I, I, someone said, I, somebody's telling me a Sagittarius. So I don't know. Put it where it goes in your story. But you're, you're, you sustained everything that's been thrown at you. Everything that was served up to you on a gold platter, right? You're like, yeah. So, you know. Wow, what do they call that when you're on those dating sites? You, uh, not, I guess, swipe. You swipe past them or something. That that's that's this sitting there going next, next, next. Nope, that won't do. Nope, that won't do. Nope, I see right through you. So, tower. So, this tells me somebody's twin flame also got a jolt. <laughs> okay. There's a relationship somewhere in here that bro that broke apart. It it was Megan, stop. It I heard Okay, I don't know where that just came from, but the name Degrassi for somebody? Degrassi? I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't meant to be. It was karmic. Megan, stop. It was karmic. Um this relationship She's doing this to me because whoever you are, the that this has happened with, this person wants you back. This person will grovel. This person will beg. They will crawl on their hands and knees back to you. Do you really want that, though? Isn't that pathetic? That somebody, you aren't meant to be together. It's toxic to be together, but they, they don't care. As long as they can be with you, they'll be toxic. I, I, I don't know. The, the, uh, anyway, whoever you are, you're not going to do this. So you're brave. You're brave. Okay. It is time to move on from this old, from these old patterns, habits, and fears. Um, now is the time to walk in your direction of your biggest desires and ambition. Now is the time to be bold and brave. Okay. So this is a relationship. It's over. Okay, got to refine that attention. Remember that you you faced your shadow. You have done shadow work. Whoever you are, you went through a major transformation. When these toxic cycles end, people, you go through a transformation. You do. You face your karma. You work it. You end it. Okay. This was a relationship dynamic. It blew up in everybody's face here. Okay. This is a divine feminine twin flame energy. She carries the Isis energy. She also carries King Tut energy. Like, seriously, this is a powerful individual. Just saying. For some of you. So we got we got a Scorpio. We got a Libra. And then this is also a Cusper. Okay. This is a Libra Scorpio Cusper energy as well. And we also have a masculine Libra Gemini or Aquarius. Just like the feminine Libra Gemini Aquarius or and sorry, not or spirit is correct. And we have a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay. There is a toxic ass Virgo and a toxic ass uh 
uh, Aries somewhere in here. So. Some of you, there's a karmic Aquarius masculine and a karmic Aquarius feminine that's involved. Some of you, there's a karmic Taurus also involved. Hmm. Anything else, Spirit? Oh, there's a Capricorn feminine as well. And there's a toxic Scorpio masculine. So, but the main point is this energy for you, whoever you all are, this is a beautiful reading, okay? You are tapped into your animal spirits, okay? You know who they are, but there's one specific that rides with you, okay? It's always dropping you, like, hints and, like, making things obvious. There is some animal spirit that keeps showing up around you. And you, you, I, I hope you've realized that this is a sign. You've been asking for something. I'll, okay, I'll tell you guys something that happened to me yesterday. So, yesterday, to show you how real this is, okay? So, I was questioning some things and needing some answers and blah, 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 right? So, I went down to go pick up my daughter. We spent the whole day together. We went and got a new kitty cat. And we ran errands and had just had a nice day, her and I together. And that was, I was taking her home. And um, so, downtown, there was a lot of festivities and stuff going on. So, there was a lot of different streets closed off. So, I had to go down other streets to, to get her home that I normally don't have to go down. And I was getting annoyed. And then... All of a sudden, I come around this corner, and there's this red brick building, and I look at it. And on this building, bigger than big, the name George. And I'm like, holy shit. Thank you. Well, my dad's father's name is George. And he's been sent to come protect me and to help out with certain things that have been going on. Especially since somebody tried to literally run my... Sundown in the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was like the last straw. They're all screwed. But anyways. Um, I was like. Because I, 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 I was told that he was coming in. And. Um, I, I. And it was really weird. Because also. Um, he showed up on my aunt's computer one day. Like he, he, something about him. And then. Um. There was something else that she was doing, and she ended up having to send it to me. And she was like, my dad's here. My dad's here. Things are getting handled. Things are getting taken care of. They've sent him. Especially where my family's um, concerned, because it's really hard. What's going on for uh, my dad to be up there watching and seeing, it's actually ripping his heart out. So his father's been sent in as the, the cleanup crew. But anyways, that was how confirmations work. And it was like the biggest one because I'm like, you guys aren't making this obvious for me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm talking to you. Someone needs to answer me up there. <laughs> All of a sudden, I come around the corner and I'm like, oh, all right, I'll shut up now. Thank you. <laughs> right? So, telling you, whoever you are, you are tapped in individual. Congratulations. You've done a lot of hard work on yourself. You should be very, very proud. All right? So you go have a fabulous Sunday, fun day. Don't forget to hit that community tab. There's a lot of cool stuff over there for you guys. All right? All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Go spread some sunshine.